to avoid attacks. And to details, President Abdel Fattah Sisi said on Tuesday he appreciated the political performance of other candidates in the 2024 presidential race, saying they helped diversify the political landscape in Egypt. A day after he was declared the outright winner of the elections, the president met with head of the People's Republican Party, Hazem Omar, head of the Egyptian Democratic Party, Farid Zahran, and head of Al Wafd Party, Abdel Sanad Yamama, at the Ittihadiyya Palace. The head of state hailed Egyptians high national responsibility and wide participation in the elections. For their part, the former candidates congratulated President el-Sisi for his win, wishing him success in the comprehensive development conducted in the country. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received Greece's Defense Minister Nikos Dendias in Cairo on Tuesday. Minister of Defense Mohamed Zaki and Greece's Ambassador to Egypt attended the meeting. Presidential Spokesman Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said the visiting Greek Minister conveyed congratulations from Greek President Kyriakos Mitsotakis to President El Sisi over his presidential elections win. Dendias also praised Cairo's role on the regional and international stages, lauding cooperation between the two sides at the bilateral level or through the tripartite cooperation mechanism, bringing along Cyprus. For his part, President El-Sisi hailed distinguished and historic ties linking Egypt and Greece, expressing his keenness to expand cooperation to serve interests of both peoples. The meeting also tackled means to cement bilateral ties in military cooperation, in addition to a number of regional developments, especially in the occupied Palestinian territories. The head of state reviewed Cairo's efforts to reach a ceasefire in Gaza, allowing humanitarian aid into the territory and the need to implement UN Security Council resolutions. Both sides agreed over the danger of the situation and the need for calm and to find political solutions to the crisis. President El-Sisi received a phone call from Jordan's King Abdullah II on Tuesday to congratulate him on the presidential elections win. The Jordanian monarch expressed keenness on expanding ties with Cairo on the bilateral level and within the framework of coordination to face challenges in the region. For his part, President El-Sisi expressed his appreciation for ties with Jordan and said Cairo is keen to reach a comprehensive and fair settlement to the Palestinian cause. President Sisi received a phone call from head of Sudan's Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, over the presidential elections win. Al-Burhan also expressed keenness to continue with fruitful cooperation between the two countries. For his part, President Sisi expressed appreciation to the gesture and stressed keenness on cementing ties between the two sides. The president said joint coordination and the stability and security of Sudan is of high priority. President Abdel Fattah Sisi also received a phone call from Tunisian President Qais bin Saeed to congratulate him on his success and re-electing in the presidential elections 2024. The Tunisian president asserted that his country is keen to boost cooperation with Egypt in all fields in the light of the joint distinguished relations. During the call, President El Sisi asserted Egypt's keenness to enhance joint ties with Tunisia. The two leaders also discussed the latest development in the region during the call. Also on Tuesday, President El-Sisi received a phone call from South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. Presidential spokesman Ahmed Fahmi said the South African leader congratulated President El-Sisi for a new term in office after winning the 2024 presidential race. He further wished President El-Sisi all success in realizing people's aspirations and ambitions. Ramaphosa said he was looking forward to enhancing frameworks of cooperation between the two countries in addition to promoting bilateral coordination and consultations regarding all African issues. For his part, President El-Sisi expressed his appreciation to his South African counterpart, asserting Egypt's keenness to activate all paths of cooperation between the two nations. The President said he expanded visions exchange regarding various African issues with the aim of supporting the joint African action. 
Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri headed to Morocco on Tuesday to participate in six Arab-Russian forum meetings. A foreign ministry spokesman said the forum was launched officially in 2009 under a memo of understanding between the Arab League and Russia as a platform for the exchange of viewpoints over different political, economic and trade issues of interest for both Russia and the Arab world. The spokesman added that Shukri was scheduled to hold a series of meetings on the sidelines of the forum. The meetings will focus on the ongoing Israeli war in Gaza and means to put an end to it, along with several regional and international issues of mutual concern. Al-Qadir frigate was handed over to naval forces after concluding the procedures of handing over in German port city Bremerhaven to join the Egyptian naval fleet. An armed forces spokesperson said that the Al-Qadir frigate is considered a huge technological addition for the naval forces capabilities. He said it aims to upgrade the armed forces to face regional challenges and threats. Egypt expressed sincere condolences to China's state and people for the victims of deadly 6.2 magnitude earthquake that struck Gansu province northern west of the country. The quake left huge numbers of deaths and victims. In its foreign ministry statement, Egypt stressed its full solidarity with China in facing the horrible consequences of this catastrophe. Rescuers in remote villages of northwest China dug through the rubble.